Dearest Arvada United Methodist Church, I meant to write to you for a while now. I've been thinking a lot about legacy and what it means to leave something for future congregations. It began in 2020 with the 150th anniversary celebration of the founding of our church. As I sat in my car on that parking lot service in the height of the pandemic on that warm September Sunday, I started thinking about things that matter to me, to you, to the people who built the church, who grew it and sustain it every day. Things like the Fellowship Center, completed in 1997 and paid for with funds from our church-wide building campaign. The organ in the sanctuary that was bought with money raised in an astonishingly fast amount of time to share the gift of music to honor God. The labyrinth, built with the blood, sweat, and I dare say tears of the many who laid the rocks and pathways to create peaceful serenity leading to the center of that circle. Facing west, I always think of Psalm 121, verses one and two. I lift my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I think of the John Allen Library, a place of knowledge, of wonder, of quiet reflection in an oftentimes anxious world. I also think of the solar panels placed on the roof of our sanctuary and classrooms over a decade ago now. I think of how they are a step forward in our aspiration to be a fully green church by 2050. I smile as I remember Bishop Karen Olivito's sermon to our church at that 150th anniversary Sunday. I remember burning the mortgage of our building renovation at the anniversary Sunday service and how these renovations increased inclusivity and function to our building so we could always welcome others. Our church is not just a building. The building on top of the hill on Carr Street is a representation of the people who make up the life of Arvada UMC. And in order to grow our church community and family, we must look to the future and toward our legacy to future generations of worshipers and servants. That is why the Legacy Fund campaign is launching. Growing our church endowment is fundamental in establishing a UMC's bedrock of financial sustainability and its missional outreach to our community and the world. We stand on the shoulders of other faithful brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers who have come before us. Now it's our turn. Will you join me? It starts here. It starts now. And it starts with you and me. Blessings, Camille Parker. <laughs>